Let's take a quick look at some essential uh, lifting accessories and their applications. My name is Nicholas, a rigging and lifting supervisor in offshore energy sector. Let's start. Right, bow shackle. Bow shackle is named after its typical uh, bow shape, which allows greater flexibility in lifting setup, especially for multi-leg slings. Just make sure the angle between slings does not exceed 120 degree included angle. D shackle. D shackle gets its name uh, from its shape, like an English letter D. It's compact, strong, but it's designed for straight vertical lifts only. If this shackle is pulled at angle, there is a risk it could bend or even fail. This shackle can be used to the same types of slings as the bow shackle. Just remember, the lifts must be strictly vertical for safe use. Ball type shackle against the screw pin shackle. Ball type shackle are generally preferred due to their secure design with the locking pin especially for the long-term application. However, in certain situations, depending on type of operations and the risk involved, a screw pin shackle may be more practical and efficient, particularly when the shackle is used temporarily and needs to be frequently attached and removed. Let's move to a slings, a webbing sling. Soft and wide, uh, like a seat belt. Best for delicate loads, so nothing gets scratched or crushed. Example, wooden plastic boxes, uh, boards, equipment on the pallets. Round slings. Wraps around the load tightly and firmly. Great for lifting round or oddly shaped objects. Examples, pipes or cylinders. Steel wire rope slings. It's stiff, strong and made of steel. Perfect for heavy duty lifts where stability is key, but it can damage fragile loads. Chain slings. The king of slings. Handles, heat, cold, dirt and doesn't break. Used for extreme conditions and heavy loads, like uh, steel structures, pipes, pipelines. Before starting any lift, take your time. There is a few things you must always check on your lifting equipment. Serial number. Ensure all lifting accessories and equipment has clearly visible and legible serial number. Color coding. Verify that the equipment has the correct color code for the current inspection period as indicated on the valid certificate. Lifting equipment capacity. Always compare equipment capacity with the weight of the load by checking safe working load or working load limit. If it's not suitable, do not use it. Previous inspection of lifting equipment. Always conduct a visual inspection to check for any damages any signs of wear or defects. Do not use damaged equipment. I hope this video was helpful. If you want to learn more, come to Navi Contest and get your hands on knowledge. Thank you for watching. See you next time.